Okay, well, the first part that I've actually finished um, is actually the feet. Um, and here they are, uh, weathered, a bit of aluminium there for the, for the pistons. Um, I know that each of the uh, filming models, um, model eagles, um, all their panelling and markings, you know, they varied from eagle to eagle. I wasn't actually aware that uh, the same applied for the feet. And this one, Eagle 4, with the uh, the booster thing up top, um, apparently its feet aren't like the others, which are like a, a mid to light grey. They, they, the feet are actually the colour of the of the actual bodywork of the eagle um now this build um i'm not going to slavishly follow every panel color i'm going to go my own way with it i mean it's not it doesn't have to be eagle four as the as seen on in the episode you know it's another eagle with another booster set on top of the specialty pod so uh, so yeah that, that that allows me to actually go me out my own way and i don't want the feet to be the same color as the rest of the eagle that's all going to be a bit bland so there you go i've, I've done them in a like a mid gray so that's the first part of the actual eagle done um next part um was indeed oh wrong one no, let's go this way. Um, <clears throat> so, a bit bright today, but here we go. There we go. Perfect. This then is base coated, and it's base coated in, incredibly, the colour that they used back in like 74 on the, uh, on the Eagles is still available today. It is Ford Diamond White. Um, just went down to my local Halfords and 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 pick one up it's a as you can see it's a creamy white in fact it looks too creamy um, um when you just see it like that or alongside another white but it, it works fine um so what i've done here is i sprayed it in gray sprayed it in uh gray primer sprayed it in white primer and then base coated it in the diamond white and this wash is a new product to me and again um, thanks to my friend mark um he used uh, a product on his and it looked really good and this is a gray wash by a company it's a flory wash by a company called florymodels.co.uk all right and basically yep yeah, it's a, it's a pot of wash now it's not an acrylic it's not an enamel it's not an oil wash it's not a stain um, it's not an ink what it basically is if you if you go on their site there's a link to how to use it um, on YouTube and basically as far as I can gather it's it's a, a mixture of clay um, water paint pigment and a couple of secret ingredients to make it flow and basically you you, you apply it just like a wash um, you leave it for 20 minutes and then you can just start wiping it away um, and the more you wipe it or the, the more water you put on your cotton bud to wipe it away uh, the more you take off and apparently you can leave this on um, literally for years because if at any point you think a bit more needs to come off uh, by using just a, a damp cotton bud it reactivates the clay and, and liquidizes it and you can remove more so that's what I've done here as you can see um, and I've left this one off especially for the video because what I've done here's the other one and what I've done is I've now put the cage affair around it this is neat for diamond white so as you can see the uh, the gray wash does tone things down quite a bit I'm in an R and about just how weathered my eagle is going to be, but I'll, I'll come to that uh, later. So there we go. That's all in. All right. I've got to do the same to the other one. All right. The other bit of progress for part three is. Oh, right. Here we go again. So this is the bit that I've just done. And I've just been waffling on at you about these bits. This is all to do with the engine. So 
you've got this shape here and you stick the halves on and you've got two pipes, right? Number one, what it's showing you the end of the pipe ending in is not true. That's not how the end ends, right? Number two, try and attach this into that hole there. That hole's too big to take that pipe. So it flops around everywhere, right? And I don't know whether it's actually in alignment because clearly it joins onto something. This thing, once you've attached it to there, you know, clearly attaches to something and attaches to something. So what I did was I, I put that bit together, held these off, right? That looked a bit dodgy to me, so I moved on and I did these four parts here, right? So what I then did was I got this back frame, fine, and I got these four parts, 43, and they do have a, a slot, so they can only go in a certain way. But that slot is not that end, it's that end. You can see there, can you see? There's only one way that you can put it in, which is great because, you know, you've got this groove cut into it. So there's no problem there. This is not true. That's not like that on that, that end. That end, it's, it's just a circle, all right? So what I did was I pushed these in, right? And then I thought, I know, to line these up, because I, I want these to actually be, you know, absolutely horizontal to that part, I know what I'll do. I'll put the glue on the four points there, glue it in, and then what I'll do, I'll just push fit this shape onto it because then I know that they'll match. Trouble is, when I went to look for part 81, this shape, that shape doesn't exist, all right? It does not exist at all. It's actually, instead of being that shape, it's that shape, which is basically that shape, but minus that bit round it, right? Again, I don't know. Thanks for folks who commented on part two and pointed out that, yeah, I, I was right in my suspicions about, you know, this not being, uh, this being from the other uh, eagle that you can get. I don't know if the other eagle has this bit and they reused it and it's a, and they've reused that number and haven't bothered to change it. But anyway, finally worked out that that is the piece. These here, I've got three of them in there at the moment. Uh, they're only push fitted. That's why that one's fallen off, all right, because I'm, I'm still nervous. So what I did was I got that. And once I put them in, I pushed that onto the end until it dried. Once it dried, I removed that. And then I got these two minus these pipes because uh, sorry this pipe but I got these two and this is where I am all right so there we go right I still don't know where that pipe connects to so I'm holding off putting them on there the problem I've now got is you see how these splay out at an angle right and it goes on that way onto there like that, right? You look at this drawing and these two top ones go into that hole there and that hole there, right? So if I get that like that and I'll bring that round there like that, that one has to go in that hole there, but, oh, see? I can kind of like get that one in but at the same time, I've got to line it all up and get all those holes. I've got it. <laughs> there is a reason why I don't do live assembly videos. Um, there'll be too much swearing and I'll get told off. So, yeah, I've got to be calm, take my time. And I think what I'm going to try and do is manage to or somehow get them all in place and get those attached without using any glue. Once they're all in, I'll then go in and like dab a little bit of glue as I go around. So yeah, this is uh, time consuming, this part. But once I've figured I've done that, I can start dropping in these other bits. And then I'm moving on to the actual cage affair and hopefully things will uh, be a lot uh, less fiddly 
and there'll be less swearing. 